Well, obviously the big reps kind of allowed us to uh, really make this project unique. We could print 24 seven, whereas, you know, sculpting is humans who need breaks and need to sleep. Whereas my big reps need a little bit of grease once a year and they just run nonstop. <laughs> So when you have a big volume like the big room, you're actually able to make super complex shapes without the need of expensive equipment. This method is very fast, cost effective, and we can do a lot of iterations. That's where 3D printing and carbon fiber are made for each other. Um, we invested in the Bikra Pro because uh, the need for large-scale additive manufacturing increased over the time. We were not able to catch up all these, um, all these needs and that's why we need a machine that also has a higher speed that we can um, produce even more. To our mind, the Pro may be the enabler for end-use um, automotive parts. Starting from, from prototyping, now having the first part which is produced in a, in a small series, I could really imagine that for special cases we are moving completely to 3D printing because the, the Big Rap uh, printer is uh, really suitable for that. I used to think that 3D printing had no purpose at police technologies. I used to think that um, the fastest way to do something was to do it out of a piece of metal. And what I'm realizing is that 3D printing is so much value in tooling, in prototyping, in packaging. I, I don't know how to live without 3D printing anymore.